This is just one of the demonstration videos that I will be bringing to you on behalf of TMG and Viavi. We look to provide the best support and training when using any of the excellent products we provide. The new MTS 4000 version 2 OTDR is the perfect tool for testing fiber for NBM projects such as fiber to the curb. With its lightning fast performance using the latest processors, high dynamic range and its capability to test through splitters, it makes it the perfect choice for those looking to test on PON or point to point networks. In this video, we're going to cover how to correctly set up the files on the Viavi MTS 2000 and the MTS 4000 and make you guys instant experts. So first we need to go into the filing menu to set up the place in which to store our traces. To do this, press the toggle button which is found just below the home key on the top right hand side of the display. The toggle button is a quick way of selecting file, setup and results, so we'll be using this key quite a lot. However, this is only available on the MTS 4000 version 2. On the older MTS 4000 or the MTS 2000, they have individual keys to help switch between the displays. So in the file screen, as you can see on the left hand side, you see a selection of files and folders uh, that you can use. Um, this is where we're going to start creating some of the directory. So to do this, first thing we need to do is select create directory on the right hand side. So we're going to call this folder the same as the fan that we're actually working on. This ensures that all the results for this fan is kept in the same place. So we're just going to press fan 002 and press enter. Now you see that on the left hand side in the folders. So I'm just going to for now highlight um, another, something else other than that. And uh, we're going to go into the next section where we start setting up the naming conventions. So we're going to go into the file section of the setup and we're going to say directory name is current directory. But if you look below, it says disk lost and found. So that's that's incorrect. So let's just go straight back into the file again. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight fan 002, which we just started. And if we go back into the setup again, you now see the directory is correct. So we know all everything is going to be filed under that fan 002. So what we need to do now is just look at the file naming convention under result storage. This is how all the traces will be stored and, and named uh, within the file you've just set up. Um, they need to be set out in a certain way to um, apply to uh, the, the NBM workbook, which I've just put here. So um, if you, you need to make sure you're familiar with this before you actually go ahead and really do this so you understand what you're doing. But let's just go ahead and, and, and name that now. So if I just select the cable ID origin and uh, it comes up with this page and what I need to do is just, just clear this for now. So I just press clear on the right hand side and to press auto and this easily enables me to start putting my naming convention in. So the first thing I need to do is put the fan in. So I'm gonna call that cable ID. That's what I'm gonna call the fan. The next bit is the original originating ID, which would be the SSS cable. And the end ID is the FJL and Lambda is basically the wavelength. And then we just finish it off with the fiber number. So now that's set up, if we just press enter, that ensures that all traces are stored like that. Now, file content is how it's stored. So if you saved it as all traces, that would save as MSOR file, but MBN requires one trace as an SOR file. Keep the auto store as no, um, and report configuration, we're just gonna keep this as no for now, but as you can see, you can change this after you've actually done the trace, and I'll explain that a little bit further once we get into that section. Link is again is another section, if you, you can initially set up your file, your naming conventions here, but again, you can do this afterwards. So we'll call fiber number one to start off with, um, we'll change from increment to increment basically means it goes up in every time you do a trace but we can keep it as no for now and cable ID is the fan that we're going to be working on okay so we'll keep that direction is a direction that we're going to be firing the trace and so that would be from A to B with location A being the SSS cable going into DPU and location B would be the description of the FJL that's going into and for fun let's just put my, my name in there as a technician and so it can save as that. Okay, now we're gonna have a look at the saving traces part. So here's a trace that we took earlier. It's not very good, I can see, but just to just show you, going to fast report, and all this information here is what we set up earlier 
in the link section of the setup. But I can overwrite that here by changing the file type with an SOR or SOR and PDF. I can use the fan, I can change the fan ID if I want to, the fiber number from here, the direction, even the location of and the destination of it. But let's just save all for now um, and see what this looks like. So I'll press save all. Obviously it comes up with a naming convention. We don't want to change this. This is set up correctly. So press enter and let's go and have a look to see that in the file. So we're going to file, select our fan 002 and there you can see the SOR file and the PDF stored for that. Now I, I want to, before I finish, I just want to show you what happens if I go to store another trace in the current format that it's set in. So let, let's go back into results. Um, and here's the trace again. So we just press fast report um, and I'm just going to save all again. Um, so I'll just take another trace, say, and I've not changed anything and I'm just going to press save all. Um, obviously leave this again the same, but it shows that there's already a file existing for that file. So it means I can tell I'm going to overwrite that or I need to make some changes. So what I need to do is really change maybe the fiber number. So if I go in back into settings and I can see the fiber number is set as one um, and then change fiber number is, is is no. So if I go into that and put increment into that. So that means that every time I take a trace, it's going to go up by one. OK, so let's let's go back into fast report um, and just save. I'm just going to change the fiber number to two. Like so and save all and enter and go back into it and then i can see now the fiber number is incremented to three so i know it's going to it's going to increment each time so that saves you remembering have to do that um, but you just got to make sure that fiber number is correct and there you go you can see both traces now stored under fan 002 so that concludes this video and has hopefully helped you become more efficient with your otdr if you're still having difficulties, then please feel free to contact the TMG customer support line on 1800 626 500. Or alternatively, if you're looking to invest in new test equipment and need further advice, then please call our sales team on 1800 680 680. Or you can check out the TMG website for a great resource for information. And make sure you check out another of our TMG product guidance videos as they appear.